Good afternoon, everybody. We have TSRO. We have hourly candles. And what I want to show everyone was the huge breakout. And also, I want people to know that the pullback will happen. And I also have news on the name. Um, it's a uh, biopharmaceutical company. Is discussing its options with investment banks after receiving acquisition interest from several drug makers, according to people familiar with the matter. The takeover interest in TSRO underscores the pharmaceutical industry strong appetite for acquisitions of biotechnology companies with promising medicines under development in lucrative sectors such as cancer treatment. TSRO is not actively exploring a cell. The people said this week, nothing that there is a significant gap over the company's valuation between TSRO and potential inquirers that would want to buy that. So that's the news. Um, Mr. Whitman, this is a Massachusetts based company, is speaking to investment banks, including Citigroup about its strategies and how to best respond to such overtures, the people added. Additional clinic trial data later this year on TSO with a key drug uh, which targets advanced solid tumors in ovarian and breast cancers. How about that, everyone? could help narrow the valuation gap to people said. So basically, um, TSR stores, uh, the shares rose as much as 17% on the news. And I just want everyone to understand that this is a news driven event. And you know, it happens in biotech all the time. And you know, they've got a big drug that kills cancer cells by inhibiting the production of proteins called the PRA. PS, which helps repair damaged DNA stands, strands, thereby helping people avoid death. Um, so basically, I'm going to conclude the fact that we're going to take the half bar value right here. I'm going to go on mute for one moment. Pause. We have the 185 call. It's on the hourly candles. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and check the 30 minute ones. Now, watch how this went from three to five dollars and then it gave it all back right there. That's the 185 call. I'm going on pause. One of the things I want the traders to know is how they opened it up at 161.48 and the prior close on the equity itself was exactly 162.95. Now we have a bid of 181 by an ask of 185. We know that the last print was 181. And here's what we're going to do. Hold on. Here I have right now on the TSRO, this was a 165 call that originally on the day, you could see where it opened up again at 161.48. You can see that it's somewhat illiquid, but I am going to tell you that the low was $2 and the high up here, is 2140. That means that the put side of the market is cheap. That also means that I can short the call as it drops off of the highs on TSRO. One of the things that we're going to be looking at trading on TSRA is the actual monthly option at the $190 put. That is the strike price. They were up here today before they ran that stock up and they dropped it right here from $16 to $8 and then it settled right here. This is in the money, 190 put, it's a monthly contract and we're gonna make money on it. Thank you very much.